Hey folks, this is uh, Avi of Your Two Cents uh, today with a retro t-shirt on. I found this on eBay, uh, five bucks, and it uh, kind of fits the scent for today. Uh, got some similarities actually. Uh, today we're going to look at Pierre Cardin, Pour Monsieur, and uh, yeah, not a lot in my bottle. I bought this, I guess, brand new, uh, but yeah, it was a one ounce. And there was, I, I think it dehydrated. At first I wanted to go send it back and get another one, but then I thought, well, the other green boxes cost a little bit more. We're supposed to get the green box EDT, which is made in France. There's a green box, and I think on the bigger ones, this is cut out. Uh, for my batch code people, it is 5J1K. This fragrance, uh, like I say, I think it dehydrated. Let's show the sprayer real quick. Uh, I'm pretty far away to get in the shirt. I hope you can hear me fine. Pretty big blast. I'm wasting it by the second. Uh, this one, a little controversy. Uh, I usually don't do the vintage, but I could find it pretty easy. This came out in 1972. Uh, numbers. Only a 3.68 out of 5 uh, with 306 votes cast. But here's the problem. There's a cologne version out there. There's a black box uh, newer version. Uh, and then there's the green box. Uh, supposedly these were all made in France, and that's uh, where this one was made. And uh, I believe Cote uh, bought them out, supposedly ruined it, according to one guy in Fragrantica. And he probably has a point. I don't know. I just have the green box. I uh, really do enjoy it. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into the notes. Top notes of orange, lavender, basil, uh, bergamot, lemon, mid, carnation, leather, sandalwood, patchouli, geranium, Base, leather, tonka, amber, benzoin, uh, oak moss, and vanilla. And here's the thing about this. Uh, it does have similarities. Let's give it a spray. Uh, I've been wearing it the last three days. Uh, work to work. Was projecting like a madman. I uh, got a kind of a compliment. Uh, one of the college kids that works for us kind of noticed it and uh, wondered what it was. And, uh, you know, I told him, I go, well, it's a pretty reasonable old fragrance in that. Uh, probably less than twenty dollars, and you lost interest right away. But you know, truth hurts. Uh, right away, you get kind of a green. There is a little bit of alcohol. Once again, I seem to get the top notes pretty good, and it seems to me when fragrances go bad, the top notes are you kind of get this weird woody, wet paper kind of smell to me. Uh, this doesn't have that, but it does have a little bit of an alcohol blast. But by now, it's gone, and you get a green, teensy bit of citrus in there. And you can kind of notice that the sandalwood's coming on. Uh, I thought, initially, I had a little uh, thimble decant of uh, Creed Bois de Portugal. And uh, with all of these, the uh, there's a couple others in this kind of category. Uh, Jovan Sex Appeal. Sex Appeal. <laughs> and, uh, of course, by Fragonard Zazani. Uh, so, this one, let's just stick with this one. This one here. Uh, basically, you get that greenness, and the sandalwood starts coming in, and then you get like this unique green, powdery sandalwood smell, and that goes on for quite a while. Let me check my notes here. When yeah, uh, and it kind of goes along, and there is a powderiness to it, and this one is basically patchouli and uh, sandalwood, which I just sprayed here. And there is a little bit more, there's some kind of greenness that makes it smell a little bit older. Uh, but it has a powdery type of, of vibe to it. That's the EDT Zizani. Um, they make an aftershave. So yeah, you always gotta kinda look at, uh, seems like this one and this one, they have like all kinds of problems with the different uh, distillations. So, this one, has that powderiness and the greenness, and that slowly fades into kind of a powdery, sandalwoody, leather type of uh, dry down. And I really like it. I like the development. Whereas this, the sex appeal, I sprayed right here. It seems more of a vibrancy. Uh, very nice in its own right. Uh, the Bois de Portugal, which I have here, <laughs> I'm just smelling like a barbershop. It does have like that little bit of a barbershop vibe, and of course, 
It is a Creed fragrance, cost about ten times as much as this one, and uh, yeah, it's very nice, uh, but at the same time, there's more of a vibrancy. It's a different type of fragrance. These are a little bit more powder, but if you like the powder aspect of it, it sort of develops along that one line. Uh, you know, they have some notes in common, lavender, bergamot, uh, sandalwood, of course. Uh, but then, Water Portugal has vetiver, ambergris, and cedar, whereas it's oak moss, leather, benzoin, uh, amber, tonka. I just kind of wrote those down. Of course, there's more notes. That seems to kind of give it a little bit, maybe the benzoin uh, in the Pierre Cardin and the cedar and the other notes. It seems to add a little bit more vibrancy in this one, and with the benzoin, kind of seems to push it a little bit in that direction, you know. So I do get similarities, but last night I was smelling it more and more uh, when it was fresh on the hand and uh, more third skin. So uh, it didn't seem like, yes, I was kind of a little bit crazy saying Bois de Portugal smelled like that. Uh, there's some similarities, uh, but they're faint. I wouldn't even say it's like a 50% similarity or anything like that when they say about dupes. But on its own right, of the three mentioned, Though I do have a soft, soft spot for, uh, I would say this is more spring. Uh, this I think you could do more in a pinch, you know. I like it, but to me, I'm starting to realize that it seems to kind of fade compared to this. And this one, you know, I'd almost say the sex appeal would be almost better in summer. This one would be probably, you know okay in summer, but maybe a bit much, so in the high heat and that, but other than that, I think it's almost a year round. It is more of a mature scent. Uh, it seems like it projected very well. Uh, the last uh, few days I wore it, like I say, the one gentleman, uh, young lad, noticed it, uh, and it seemed like into the work date, eight hours later, it was still uh, pretty much uh, hanging in there, uh, more of a leathery powder uh, closer to the skin, but uh, you know, this shirt I put on, uh, had it on two days ago, uh, smoked a good old, hey, look at there, look at there, got me a heater to smoke later, uh, but smoked one wearing this shirt and uh, being kind of, one wear it in a video, put it back on, still smelled like uh, Pierre Cardin, poor monsieur, uh, with a little bit of cigar. So, it's potent, uh, and I would recommend giving it a sample, and yeah, that's where I think I might get a bigger bottle of the green box, and I also think, uh, you know, I am going to go ahead eventually here with the, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, I had this two for twelve idea, sell it on the fragrance groups, and I just have a good list of several that you could pick, two, uh, six mls, uh, and sell them for twelve bucks, friends and family, or whatever percentage, if you want to do it the sales way, uh, and then yeah, uh, let folks try some that are pretty much, you know, you don't want to really buy a full bottle, and, uh, you know, this one and others, uh, by the time you decant it, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd make a little bit of cash flow in and, and people would get to try some things without buying a bottle and making that big leap. So that is coming in the near future. Uh, if you have this or you have the cologne, please put down your uh, information below. Or if you have the other two, Jovan Sex Appeal, uh, Bois de Portugal by Creed or Zazani, and you're familiar with any of the other three or any of the other two and the Creed, uh, you know, put it down below. Uh, I'm just curious what people think. I think it's like kind of the sandalwood. It's kind of holding them all together. But uh, like I say, as usual, there'll be more of these to come. And uh, please, folks, be kind. And uh, another video in the near future with a different shirt. Take care.